Hey everybody, I'm David Henry from LearnStageLighting.com and in this video I want to talk to you about LED pixels and hooking them up to your lighting console or mapping software. So I'm actually going to do both in this one, but the basic gist of this is that, you know, in the world of LEDs we can have regular RGB LEDs and we can have pixels where each individual one of these guys can be a different color and do something different. There's a number of these behind me doing a, a nice blue chase as we speak. And whether you're using, you know, a, a individual pixel product like this or a pixel tape or anything like that, the concept and the way it works is still the same. So what we're going to do while my mail gets delivered is if you hear that sound is the first thing we need to do is get our pixels in hand okay once we've got our pixels we can go ahead and we're gonna hook them up to our LED driver now in this case my pixel driver is an Entech pixel port and I cannot recommend this one enough I've used some other ones I've used cheaper ones and this thing is just so easy to configure so easy to work with and has a simple, easy mode that you can use to quickly and easily control pixels. In fact, I'll link to a video about that. Now, so you get your pixels, you get them hooked up to your pixel driver. You might need to solder a plug on if uh, the plug that your pixels have doesn't match what your driver comes with, etc. So that's what I did here. Once you've got them hooked up, you can go ahead and first of all make sure you've hooked them up right you're always going to say on pixels one side of the pixel or the tape is going to say data in or di and the other side will say do so you want to go from the pixel box the pixel controller into the di and then the do is where you can go to more pixels so i literally could go i could hook up some of these guys some of these node little pixel nodes and I could come out of that and then come in to some pixel tape. I literally could do that and uh, possibly be re-injecting power along the way. So once I've got that basically hooked up, I can now turn on my pixel driver. Now, this particular one, I've set up a test sequence and I could run it just like it's running behind me in the video. And I can literally just run it like that and have pixels, but I said, at the beginning of this video that I'm going to show you how to get pixel control and there's not a lot of control going on when it's in standalone mode so the next thing we're going to do is go to our computer and I'm going to open up a little program for my Entech product called Entex NMU or node manager utility I hit discover I've got my my pixel port hooked up via Ethernet to my computer on my network and I can now go in and configure things. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to turn on SACN and set my options, set my universe, set my pixel order, etc. All right. Once I do that, I can now open any pixel mapping program to get control. For example, I can open up Onyx from the nice folks at Obsidian Control Systems. It's not a pixel mapping program, but at the end of the day, we're able to control these pixels either with a pixel mapping program or a regular lighting console. Now, they use a lot of channels, but you can control them with a regular console. It just takes more work. So I literally go in, I've set up my SACN, I've brought in my fixtures, and now I can turn them on here, I can change the color, etc. I can record that, save it wherever I'd like, do some effects, whatever. The other option is especially once you have a good number of pixels, you're going to want to use a pixel mapping program like Entex Elm, which allows you to go in, set up your pixels the way that they look in real life. For example, this right behind me that I'm showing you. And then you're able to go ahead, select from predefined videos and effects and bring in your own videos as well, just like I'm showing you here. Awesome. Now, once you've got that all hooked up, you make sure, of course, your settings at Elm match the settings that the um, Pixel port has or your other Pixel driver, and then you're good to go. You should, at this point, have control and be ready 
to rock. Now, if you are looking for more information on pixels, head over to Learn Stage Lighting, where I've got a great post that's going to show you the basics and also show you where I've got more resources to help you learn about pixel mapping and how to use it in your shows. Until we meet again, have a wonderful day and be sure to subscribe here on YouTube. Thanks.